No matter how adventurous a foodie you may be, when dealing with ingredients like these, you'll need some help. Really what it comes down to is, all right, you need a good sauce, cheese, never hurt anybody, and bring on the carbohydrates. Chef Matthew Grunwald of Scottsdale, Arizona's Virtu Honest Craft took us for a culinary walk on the wild side. So with these wild exotic ingredients, we're gonna really tame them today. Crawling to the top of our list, scorpions. Armored tail scorpions going in the flautas, and so they're getting deep fried anyway. And we really tamed the scorpion by putting it into a crispy flauta shell. Fresh tomatoes, nice roasted chilies. You get the scorpion in there for sure. But that I mean, nice I got a lot of scorpion. <laughs> Actually, very good way to go. Snavic its way to number two, canned alligator meat. With the alligator on the back of the can, it's saying that it's uh, simmered in a spirited Cajun gravy, but it needs some more spirit. I'm going to put that into a really rich, creamy Alfredo lasagna. We got a nice fresh tomato sauce on the bottom, some fresh greens on top. And, of course, the alligator. So when we incorporate it in with the hamburger and the onions, it has that real lasagna taste. Yeah, it's very good. The texture's good. It's that classic lasagna taste. You can't tell something's in there, though. Yeah, absolutely. Something's different. Finally, fresh baked canned raisin bread. We're gonna add some cream, sugar, and eggs and create a really nice, luscious, rich bread pudding. Hard to believe this started in a can. So with the bread pudding, we had our canned raisin bread, really dense, but when that soaks up the cream and the eggs and the sugar and that fresh vanilla paste, it really has that beautiful souffle texture. Wow. That fresh caramel sauce on top too. Oh, that's legit. Good job. For another wild canned food recipe, slither over to our Facebook page for rattlesnake pizza bagels. Going from wild to wonderful. Weird Canned Foods are on The Breakdown.